From headless frogs and flies to rattlesnakes that keep on striking, here are 10 animals that can live after death. Number 10. Fruit flies Researchers have found that female fruit flies of various species can survive for several days after being decapitated. What's more, they can maintain normal activities including flying, walking and preening. The female's lack of a noggin doesn't seem to bother the males because they will still attempt to court them, but the overtures are strongly rejected. The female's uptight response is due to their antennae being lost along with their head. The ladies can no longer detect the courting calls being sent by the guys. But the headless critters can still respond to light even without eyes. That's due to a series of light-sensitive cells located on their kidneys. Even without eyes, they can still see the light. Number 9. Spinalaricus chinzia Almost every animal on Earth needs to breathe in order to survive. Without oxygen, most creatures would die. An exception is this tiny beast. The microscopic organism was discovered in 2010, and to date it's the only known animal that can thrive in a habitat that contains no oxygen. It was found below the surface of the Mediterranean Sea at a depth of 2.5 miles or 4 kilometers. That area of the sea is identified as a dead zone or an anoxic environment. Experts say that these animals have organelles that are known to supply certain single-celled anaerobic life forms with energy. We included this one since it can continue to live in an environment that would kill most other animals. Number 8. Frogs Several cases have been documented where these amphibians were found with functioning bodies that were headless. In certain experiments, scientists were able to make the body move or twitch on demand. The creature's muscles expand or contract in response to electrical impulses set off by a reflex reaction. The impulses originate directly in the body, bypassing the brain. Scientists have found that frog anatomy is relatively simple. If enough energy is artificially supplied to the amphibian's body, it could continue reacting to external stimuli for an indefinite period. There's even evidence to suggest that the reactions of frogs without brains are more consistent than those with brains. Depending on the animal, having a head could be more of a hindrance than a help. Number 7. Octopus these cephalopods are noted for having highly complex nervous systems. According to experts, the majority of the animal's neurons are located in the nerve cords of its arms or tentacles. Thanks to that, those appendages don't need to be connected to the brain to function. Some sources claim that the tentacles can possess information entirely on their own. That means that the octopus's appendages can keep on moving even after it has been killed. The phenomena is often displayed in restaurants that serve a Korean dish known as sanakuji. After the octopus is plated, it will twitch and spasm without brain activity. That makes for a dangerous delicacy. Since the tentacles suckers are active, they can stick to the throat while being swallowed and present a choking hazard. Unlike some of the critters on our list, humans are not necessarily known for living after death. Number 6. Too Tough to Die – Tardigrade if there's one animal that could be the poster child for toughness, it would probably be this tiny beast, which measures about half a millimetre when fully grown. Basically, they're able to survive conditions that would kill almost any other organism. And that might include death as well. Some species of tardigrades will suspend their metabolism and enter a state of dehydration. They can stay in this suspended state for up to a decade. It was only until recently that scientists discovered how the animals accomplished this. It stems from an unusual set of proteins they possess, which are known as TDPs, or tardigrade-specific intrinsically disordered proteins. The proteins have a jelly-like form when there's plenty of water. When the critter dries out, the proteins become a glass-like shield that protects its sensitive materials. That process allows the tardigrade to essentially die before coming back to life. Number 5. Antifreeze Frogs These amphibians make a second appearance on our list. Wood frogs can be found across North America, from Canada south to the Appalachians. They aren't headless, but they do have a talent for surviving harsh conditions that would kill many other animals. They have a unique tolerance to cold that has caught the attention of biologists. In winter, the frogs will gather some leaves as a shelter, then simply freeze as temperatures plunge. They're actually in a state of deep hibernation. In that state, they are able to withstand the freezing of their blood and tissues thanks to large concentrations of glucose from their liver. It works as a type of antifreeze in their bodies. While their heart eventually stops, the frogs can recover from many freeze and thaw events so long as no more than 65% of their total body water freezes. 
Number 4. Hearts of the Matter Turtles are noted for their longevity, but it turns out that certain organs of these reptiles can continue living after the rest of them have died. Researchers say that, depending on the species, a turtle's heart can continue beating for up to five days. It has to do with the pacemaker cells found in all animals that control the heart rate. Those cells will keep the heart beating even after signals from the brain have been lost. Turtles like the loggerhead musk species have exceptionally strong hearts that draw from an energy source that uses minimal oxygen. That attribute can allow these animals to dive for as long as 5,000 hours before coming up for air. Number 3. Cockroaches Will these creepy crawlies really survive a nuclear war and inherit the Earth? Hopefully we'll never have to verify that. But there is plenty of evidence to suggest that the ubiquitous insects have some serious survival skills. They can go without food for weeks, and they can survive and thrive in extreme environments from tropical heat to arctic cold. So it shouldn't come as a surprise that these critters can also survive decapitation. In fact, they can live for weeks without a noggin. They don't need a head to breathe because they respite through tiny holes in their body called spiracles. Blood loss wouldn't bother them because cockroaches don't have blood vessels or bleed like humans do. What would eventually kill them is hunger and dehydration. They can't feed or drink water without their head. Number 2. The Slithering Dead Snakes can be scary enough when they're alive, but it turns out they can be just as scary and deadly after they've been decapitated. We found a number of stories about these cold-blooded critters that kept on biting after they were dead. Some of those stories involve rattlesnakes, pit vipers that are often linked to the harsh desert environments of the American Southwest and Mexico. A homeowner in Santa Cruz, California chopped the head off a rattler that invaded his garage. But the snake's head remained alive and kept on moving like a zombie as it kept baring its sharp fangs. That homeowner lived to tell the tale, but a chef in China wasn't so lucky. As he was preparing a delicacy called cobra soup, he was fatally bitten by the snake's decapitated head. Experts say that venomous species like cobras and rattlesnakes can retain the biting reflex for more than an hour after apparently dying. Number 1. Miracle Mike the Headless Chicken You've heard the expression to run around like a chicken with its head cut off, right? It refers to somebody that's rushing about in a senseless, frenzied manner. When a chicken is decapitated, its body will often twitch and stagger about due to a reflexive response. But the idiom was taken to the extreme with Miracle Mike. He was a chicken that truly did run around after his head was lopped off. And he kept running for 18 months! It happened in 1945 when Mike's owner made an unsuccessful attempt to behead him. The body was able to walk unsteadily and even crow. The owner kept the animal alive by feeding it milk and water through an eyedropper. For a time, Mike was a popular sideshow attraction and brought in more than $50,000 a month adjusted for inflation. He passed away in 1947 after choking on a kernel of corn. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit that big red subscribe button and click the bell for notifications for our next exciting episode right here on Epic Wildlife.